entering what we believe to be his final season. He is a defensive back, will play on the left side, cornerback in Rocky Long's 3-3-5 system. He has been with the Aztec family here for this, I think, will be his sixth season. San Diego State kicks off on September 5th against USD. That's going to be at Qualcomm Stadium at 5 o'clock. And then they play Cal at Cal, South Alabama at home, at Penn State, and then into the Mountain West Conference schedule. J.J. Whitaker joins us on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. J.J., Darren Smith, good to talk to you. Hey, Darren Smith. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you coming on this program. This isn't the first time we've had you on. How's your offseason been? It's been great. I mean, the buzz around campus between our team and the students out here in Montezuma Mesa is just live right now. We're so excited. Well, this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we, we predicted this will be your final offseason, right? <laughs> I mean, this is, you're kind of gearing up. This is the final rodeo for you. <laughs> yeah, this is about the last ride for me, and uh, I hope I get to go out the way um, our team wants to. So, And what would that be? What exactly? Uh, I said it right before. I, I'm curious to know the way the Mountain West Conference media, how they're going to see oh, you guys push. next week. I, what, I talked about the championship game. I think that would be a nice step for the program, for you, I'm certain, as a player. What's left to do for you? Most definitely is definitely win the Mountain West Championship. And, you know, not only that, but win every game we have. We want to play 14 games and be playing after New Year's this year. So that's our goal. I like it. Now, you've been a part of this program. Uh, do I have this right? This is your sixth season. Correct. This is my sixth season. Yes. Sixth season. Um, you had to apply with the NFL because you had some medical stuff, uh, some ACL stuff. I think each knee was operated on, broke a collarbone. So you have been certainly a part of this program for many, many years. What's the process like? I've never heard anybody describe this. When you are asking the NCAA to let you play and grant you another season of eligibility. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually pretty interesting. You know, you got to write you got to write down all your injuries, how it happened, when it happened, and you know how you felt about it happening. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same across the board with all the other players in the nation. But um, you know, it's very interesting. I'm just blessed to be able to come back and thankful to come back and finish my uh, my master's and be in the graduate program here at San Diego State, the Homeland Security Program. And I'm just blessed and too blessed to be able to give this opportunity. Now, do you have to do that yourself, or does the football program or the athletic department file it on your behalf? They do a lot of the filing, but it has to go through me as well. So it's like a it's a team thing. You know, we're both we're both working together. And did you feel like at at the time when you present it, because you know. The NCAA, I know that they, they did you a solid with this one, granting you the extra year, but the NCAA, in a lot of parts in this country, people think it's a terrible, terrible structure and a terrible organization. Did you, were you confident? Like, did you feel like, all right, you know, this is something here, this is reasonable, they should say yeah. yes, or were you oh. nervous and, and worried that they'd say no? I was hoping that they would say yes, obviously, so I could come back, you know, those years that I lost, that was not in my control you know it wasn't grades or it wasn't you know off the field actions it was just something that happened on the field and it was just truly not in my control i'm glad and thankful and blessed that i was able to have the opportunity to play again we're talking to jj whitaker he is entering his final season with the san diego state aztec football program uh you mentioned that you are getting your masters let me uh, give you credit here because again i'm a big college football fan and people listen to the show and they think that i'm uh, they think that i i'm kind of a homer for college football People hear a lot of the bad stuff. You know, people hear a lot of the, you know, the fact that, that you know, kids don't go to school and they're only there to play football, blah, blah, blah. You're an example of a guy. You got your undergrad degree. You're working on your master's right now. It sounds like college football has been pretty good for J.J. Whitaker. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been going it's been going down pretty much how you would want to write it on paper. And uh, uh, I, I, can, I can tell my, my family, you know, they, they're always pushing me and, you know, my family within the, the team as well, you know, teammates and, and the counselors upstairs, you know, everyone, the mentors, everyone's always pushing you, always wanting you to do your best and continue to just get the best grades and be, be a role model for, you know, the younger classes. And, you know, that's what we're trying to build here at San Diego State, not only be a man on the field, but off the field as well. So what are your plans? You know, as you enter your final year, when I went into my last year of college, I didn't know what the heck I was going to do. I certainly <laughs> never predicted I was going to be on the radio in San Diego. What are your, your future plans with all your education? Um, as far as, far as uh, my education uh, with Homeland Security, you kind of you kind of really don't really know exactly where you end up. And, it's, and with Homeland Security, I think it's pretty cool that you can, like, you know, be in the FBI or the CIA or something. So, you know, I don't know, maybe something across those lines I hope to be in it one day. So, so you want a career that you might not actually be able to talk about? Yeah, 
ironically on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a lot that goes with that. You know, if you want that top top level clearance here, you know, you, you might yeah, take definitely. on a different identity. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> How did you get drawn into criminal justice and homeland security? Excuse me? How did you get involved and in, in why criminology well, and, and why homeland security? Well, I've just, I've just always been um, just, you know, interested in that just uh growing up you know who doesn't want to be a police officer who doesn't want to drive fast and pull somebody over and carry guns and all kinds of things as a child and then growing up you know watching uh tv shows like csi and just how interesting that is and, you know finding it's like a big puzzle you know it's a puzzle for a man and i i just i i really appreciate that and i've grown to love it you know you, you raise an interesting point and i know we're, we're going to talk about football here and I'll, I'll steer back in that direction after this question i promise jj but you mentioned, you know, who doesn't want to be a police officer? And I would think that, that it's probably hard in this day and age. I think that the recruitment of police officers is probably a major challenge based on a lot of the things that people have seen on the news. And I'm not saying that all police officers are bad. Two of my best friends were cops. But but I would think that a lot of people, that this is going to be a tough job to, re- to recruit just based on everything that people are watching on television this day and age. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you can even say the same thing about being in the military, you know, and, and somebody having to go deal with ISIS and, you know, go overseas, and, you know, coming back and being an amputee and all kinds of situations like that. I mean, it's just life, and it's about – it just goes with all the things you believe in, the things you were raised about, and, you know, having having the opportunity to support your community, your country. You know, I think that's what makes the people still believe in the things that they do today. All right, good good stuff on that, and good luck with with all of it. Uh, J.J. Whitaker here on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. So you guys are going to go Mountain West Conference Media Day. You're going to be one of the players to represent San Diego State. The media is going to announce who it expects to win the West Division of the Mountain West Conference. Who do you expect to win the West <laughs> of the Mountain West Conference? San Diego State University. And what is your argument for that? <laughs> what is my argument? <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> uh, I, I would say that we have a great defense, and you know, um, we got uh, I think it's a uh, seven guys, seven starters coming back, and you know, got a few a uh, few guys, few younger guys coming up, ready to play, filling those missing spots. And then as long as in the offense position, we're at battling quarterbacks, you know, for the starting position, as long as Donnell Pumphrey are. Um, our running back, our star running back. So I think we have a good standing. I like, I like the way our summer's been. You know, I like the way we're competing in summer, and and this team feels like it has that edge. What's it like facing Pumphrey in practice? And they've been tough to take him down on the field during the games. Oh man, the kid's tough everywhere you go. You know, you walk around campus, you can't touch him. You know, you can't. He's a kid you never wanted to play tag with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny you use the phrase kid because. Yeah, you're 24, I think, right? I think you're having a 24. Right. Do you feel, you know, that you're, you're that most of the, your teammates, I'm, I'm guessing most of them are probably younger than you. Yeah. Does it feel that way? Do you feel like, yeah. wow, there's a bunch of kids I'm playing with? You know what? It actually does, in a sense. You know, when we're in the locker room, you know, I, I get that sense. You know, a lot of guys, see guys coming in with scooters and stuff and razors. Like I haven't had a razor in, in <laughs> since the sixth grade, and you know, that's that's. A, I'm 24 now, so you know, it's been a while. But um, <laughs> you, I mean, you can talk to anybody. You can talk to a coach in the league, and just being around the guys, it it keeps you young. You know what I mean? It, it keeps you there. You still, I I don't even download music, but I know about all the latest music because you know they play in the locker room and stuff. So it keeps you long, keeps you young, and keeps me going. Do you have a BlackBerry or an iPhone? <laughs> you just called me out on, on the radio, man. I have an iPhone, all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I work with somebody who's stuck on a, a BlackBerry, so you're not that old. That was the ultimate line. <laughs> hey, I am not that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too old for the razor, but you way, you put the BlackBerry way way in the rearview mirror. Hey, JJ, last thing I have for you. Um, this game against the, the Toreros uh, that you guys are playing to open up your season on September 5th, you play Cal the following week. Uh, it was late added to the schedule. It's the ultimate no win because if you beat them, you're supposed to beat them because you play on a different level. And if you lose, it's a nightmare. So I wonder how much you, you know, how do you, are you excited? Is the team excited to play what's at least being billed as this crosstown game? I think it's, I think the team and the community is just being excited that it's a home game first and foremost. You know, we have another home game. And uh, it's a great opportunity to get everyone's family and friends out here and uh, watch the Aztecs play. And in regards to USD, you know, they did great in their postseason, so we're excited to play them. They they feel like they're running, they, you know what I mean? They're running on all fours, and uh, we feel like we're doing the same thing, so it should be a great game. Well, hey, JJ, appreciate you doing this. Have fun in Vegas for the Mountain West Conference for the media days. Thank you for the time, and I uh, hope we get a chance to do this again as the season gets rolling. 
Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. You got it, J.J. Whitaker.